Is the Bitcoin Ponzi scheme coming to an end? Will the Bitcoin butt buddies ever stop bumping their bussies together? You would think that after Bitcoin drops 10, even 20% of its value in less than a 24 hour period, people would realize it's an incredibly volatile, manipulated currency. And you're absolutely right. Frankie Finance, the financial prophet, back at you. And I figured I would give myself that nickname as I am one of the only people who honestly predicted the first crypto crash. I believe Bitcoin is on its last leg. I think they're having a hard time getting enough people to buy into it so that the ones holding can cash out. I've been watching a channel for the past few weeks, Waters Above Crypto, who uses Gematria, Gematria, numeric coding to do a financial analysis. And you know Gematria is legit because it's Jewish on the crypto market. He predicted the price of Bitcoin correctly on November 21st to dip around $57,000. And I was looking for that for a couple weeks. I was like, if this guy's right, maybe I should buy some. And I was going to, but I had a bad gut feeling. So I decided against it. I said, hey, if this guy's right about Bitcoin dipping at 57,000 on the 21st and then going up to 100K by December, then the week or two after, as it's rising, I can still buy in. But that wasn't the case. And I didn't have to wait too long. The price stayed steady a few days, but then took a giant dump all the way from 68,000 on November 8th to 47,000 on December 4th. You also had basically every online crypto personality making these outrageous predictions for multiple currencies. One guy is talking about how Ethereum is going to hit this number, another guy about XRP going to the moon. And it seems like this happens every few months, but people still buy it. Yo dudes, the empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. What's crazy is how far they are going to try to get people to buy into these currencies so they can just cash out on the stupidity of the masses. The channel Waters Above Crypto has hundreds of hours of content, which all lead to attempt to convince people to buy the dip. And that dip was supposed to be 57,000 on November 21st. Yeah, some of the elites cashed out at the top at 68,000 when they could. Some of them cashed out when it crashed to 57,000 and people bought the dip at 57,000. More of the elites cashed out because those people bought the dip. And then was the real dip at 47,000 or are more of them cashing out? And you'd be like, hold on, Frank, wouldn't they all just cash out at 68, 69,000? No, because they own so much crypto. There isn't enough money in the market for them to cash out. So they have to stimulate a drop in order to sell their stuff. So this guy makes a post. Why is Bitcoin going down today? He lists the reasons for stocks going red, poor job report, China delisting, the new variant. But these people don't realize each of those things have no truth to them whatsoever. You're just being told that on mainstream media. Stories used to manipulate our actions. And not only do they manipulate us through control of that media, they will actually shut down mainstream trading platforms. Why is it so difficult to execute trades in extreme volatility? Whenever there is a strong dip, you shut down when we need you the most. The market needs you the most. I'm trying to DCA and you can't even execute a small trade. And then when you decide to execute, the price is significantly higher. It's hard enough to navigate the market and you should be helping us execute. If we can't execute trades during volatile conditions, then get the fuck out of the business. So that guy is freaking out because Coinbase, which is an online platform used to trade cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, wasn't working when there was the crash. Same thing happened with Robinhood, a popular stock trading app, many times during the peak market crashes almost two years ago now. The big boys, hedge funds, high level traders are not using these platforms. These apps, platforms, websites, Coinbase, Robinhood, are designed to appease to the masses. The guys at the top are using programs that do not get shut down so they can reap the benefits of 90% of the normies being locked out of the market. What surprised me was that there's a post admitting the truth that got pretty high up on Reddit. That's it. Whales control the market and there's nothing much you can do about it other than to play long term. Today the sentiment here was of death. In a few minutes, a lot of buying orders in Bitcoin pumped 2K up and alts followed. Do you think this is organic? 
Of course not. Whales are playing with the market and will continue to do so and take money off from retail, especially when you buy at the top and panic sell. And the top comment on that is, I mean, that's just how life works. Rich people run the world and bend it how they see fit. Uh, now this is an obvious shill post because instead of telling the entire truth, he said that you should play the long term. What? Play the long term until all the people at the top cash out and you're stuck renting a room in your 30s living in a cardboard box? I'm not the only person who figured this out though. Crypto influencers are not your friends and they are not giving you a secret once in a lifetime chance to get rich. BitBoy Crypto, DIY Investing, Crypto Homie, MM Crypto, and many others didn't get rich because of their superior technical analysis or knowledge of the universe and beyond. Names of the channels kind of give it out, but they aren't who you should be listening to. They got here to make profits off your losses and to get funded by sponsors of their videos, posts, analysis, etc. A lot, if not most, of high profile crypto YouTubers are simply covert pump and dump schemes. Remember the Phantasma video that BitBoy did? Yeah, something like that. Buy cheap, sell while your followers bought a significant amount, and then dump it for profit and never mention it again in your videos. And that does make sense, because that guy I was watching, Waters Above Crypto, if he was so good at predicting the market, why is he selling these courses for like 10, 20, 30 bucks? He shouldn't need it, the guy should have millions of dollars. It's so disgusting. These people are pretending to help you get rich, achieve financial freedom. Meanwhile, they are manipulating you to get that for themselves. Very typical of parasites, and that's how it is. You know, the people in the club, in these secret societies, do not give half of a shit about you. They will lie through their teeth to get exactly what they want. Because the way the power dynamic works is that the more successful people that there are, the more competition there is, and their best tool is lying. Because when you control mainstream media, when you control algorithms, and you're able to lie to people, you can manipulate them very easily because most people, are, you know, they're good people. They don't think they're going to be lied to, and then they end up getting screwed. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this gives you some insight and you know most people um, I don't remember how long ago it was seven eight nine ten months ago the last time that Bitcoin crashed before this you know especially the crypto market in general it seemed like no one wanted to invest but over the course of that period of time I guess they got enough people sucked back in that they could cash out